Hey, welcome back again to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a bonefish fly now, and uh, this is using synthetic material. It's a variant on the Crazy Charlie, and uh, it's going to be a fun one, and uh, not too tough to tie. So uh, let's get started here. So bonefish flies are uh, most commonly, if you look in the catalogs, they... Uh, often often offer they typically offer sizes four six and eight but guess what depending uh <clears throat> so first of all the, these this b chain uh this is um boy it's uh ooh, I, i'll tell you be calm I get confused about some of these holes. These are Chacon's, Chacon's Stealth Chain. It's really nice stuff. They, they come in some kind of uh, dull colors. This is kind of a creamish. Um, it gives us an option other than our traditional uh, shiny black or shiny gold or shiny silver. So our, um, anyway, hook sizes, you know, if, if you go from hook style to hook style, you're going to see some big differences. You, you think the hook makers are from different planets. This happens to be an SC-15. Uh, Gamagatsu SC-15 in a size one, but it's about like um, a TMC six would be in an 800S. So you, you've really got to look. You, you can't judge entirely by what the hook manufacturer says the hook size is. So this body, we're gonna, um, we're gonna put some UV over this some UV, some UV cure, some UV resin. This body, and you could use all sorts of things for this. This is, happens to be a Lagerton Pearl flat braid, uh, light pink. And I'm gonna crisscross it over those. And these are large eyes. And I really like these because they're, they're kind of a sandy color not all shiny now this rib we could do that rib just as it is but what I want to do is it no we could do the body just as it is you see how I get away from myself here I want to have a rib and this rib is a, it's a vivus iridescent thread in a fluorescent pink it's it's really tough stuff. It's uh, I th think it's two strand and it's um, it's just awesome. Now I'm gonna use some Loon Flow, nice and thin. And a couple reasons for doing this. One is that iridescent uh, that Vivas iridescent thread it wouldn't stay there at all on that um, on that flat braid it just slip right off but you know what put this UV cure on there and it's and it also I I think I don't know what the bonefish think but I think it makes it look more like a little shrimp uh, so we got we got our body now we're gonna flip it over like this now I think I was trying to say something and I completely forgot what it was. Um, so that's all right. Don't worry about it. What we have here is some barred crusher legs. I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't. I'm pretty sure. This, this is a really fishy guy. <laughs> but I don't know how to pronounce his name. But I like, the, I like the looks of these things. And guess what? Light them up. And, and look at that, uh, that iridescent uh, thread on the body. So, I'm just going to get one strand of this out here, and I'm going to lay it down. 
because uh, my wing, now you can, you can use calf tail on this wing. You can use synthetics. This happens to be a, uh, this is a hank of sculpting, um, sculpting flash fiber. It's so funny. You watch these YouTube videos and there's so many tires that forget what the material is called. Uh, now, in re my friend Enrico uh, makes, this is EP fiber, and it's uh, flow pink. And then I have the sculpting fly. What, what I want to do is get, I want to have the two-tone effect. So I have the sculpting flash fiber underneath and I have the EP fibers on top. <clears throat> and I could, because um, I like to be fair to all my friends and have every, everybody sell some materials. The point is it's really difficult to get calf tail. I used to call it kip tail when I was starting to tie flies. Uh, it's really difficult to get calf tail that um, is just right to tie these. But you, with these synthetics, you can get it right every time. So now I've got my little crusher legs here. And I, I, I just want one sticking up on each side. So I lay that down. And I wrap a little bit forward and then I pull it over and I wrap it back and I take a look and this is where I'm going to give a little tug. There we go. And then cut this one the same. Now another way to do that would be to tie in a loop like that. And you tie your loop and then you cut it in the center. So I do that sometimes. Whoops! If I pull down too hard on that, it's going to stand up more than I want it to. Okay, and this is this is a uh, flow. This is a light pink Danville's Six Ot Fly Master. This is the thread I used to tie commercially with back in the seventies. This has been around as long as I have. Nice pale pink color. Probably have a uh, flow pink. There are probably several other manufacturers make the same color. And you could probably even get away with using a different color and still catch bonefish like crazy. And depending on how deep the water is and how you want your fly to uh, perform, you could use these are the large eyes. Um, you could use small eyes. Uh, you could use a double if you really want them to sink. If you got deeper water uh, or, or unique circumstances, you might want a double pupil light eye. So, got my loon flow on there. Um, look at how that thing lights up. How could a bonefish? Well, a bonefish couldn't resist that. So, hope you had fun. That's the main thing. And, uh, uh, tie up some of these and I'm going to be doing some more bonefish flies soon and uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to fish for bonefish but I'm going to have some flies ready just in case. Thank you. Thank you for joining me.